Golden Wings by the Great Eater, Chapter 4, The Sleepover. As we end up left for Twilight's place, Skulu, Dinky and Sparkle are preparing for the impromptu sleepover. Skulu wrapped their blanket cocoon, gritted Dinky. I can't believe we finally get another crusader. Well, it won't be official till tomorrow, when you do the initiation. But I wonder why we didn't notice you until now. Dinky said, I don't know. I know there are a few others like us in our class. But he's usually busy doing something or other. I know. My mommy likes to bring me home. I can't tell her. I can tell about my day. But being considered, sounds like I'd be fine. Scootaloo grinned from ear to ear. There's more like us. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to tell the girls tomorrow. Do you know any of the names? Well, there's Mango Dash. Pip, and I think Rumble's one too. I know she days got his uh, photography a week ago, so that's a bust. That's all I think of at the moment, Dickie, Dickie said, on top of her head. So, what exactly do you do when you go crusading? Sparkle asked. Well, usually I de brainstorm ideas. The Apple Boom brought up sketches so that we have a good idea down on paper that we get to do it. Well, that's how it usually works. Sometimes we have such a good idea that we decide to wing it, Scooby replies. But I don't have wings, to you reply silly. Give me a close look. It's a saying. You don't need wings. Still depend. Oh, I've never had that time before. Sorry. It's all right. So I think that since this is a sleepover, we could do some good sitting before we go to bed. Scooter said with a grinning. We'll be a book of untried ideas that she had been cooking up. Yay! Time for fun. Think we replied while her sister looked at the unfolding scene. Says his dread. Even though her feeling had no dissemble origin, she knew things were not going to go in well. Are you sure it's the safe to go crusade this late night? Sparkler said. Sure. I thought that since Nikki's first time we'll do something easy like cooking. Since we will dash with three bell and we're teaching me how to cook. It'll be easy. You, who knows? I might just get cooking key marks this time. With that, she carried her we say no book in her mouth while in the room to the kitchen. School had a page open, so I have a large batch of arcane diagrams, a recipe for basic cake, as she grabbed the ingredients. Spock looked over the diagram etched on the paper. So, what's this exactly? Is this design? I haven't seen it before. I don't know. I saw a bunch in the spell books for something when I was to try out something kitty marks. This mix and match random things. Looks cool. I was going to use to make a cake for Rainbow Dash's birthday next week. But since Stinky is going to be a crusader, I thought... We can make it together tonight and give it to her early. Win win in my book. School I said, pointing her crew picture of her. Dash to the hoof bump. An awesome cake to prove a point. But mixing dangerous. What if something bad happens? Spark so asked in more now that school explained the diagram. Rest. Hey! You're sounding the sound like Sweetie Belle. There's nothing to worry about. After all, haven't heard a term that something tastes magical? Well, it's going to truly be magical. Now let's get this party started. That Dickie and Scooter started to mix everything together. I can't either 
materials in the mix. The gate school huddled together, discussed what to do next. What make the base? I think it should use more special ingredients. Let's look around and see what looks good. What do you say, Dinky? That sounds alright. I know what I'm gonna add. With that, they went their separate ways. Eventually, ending up with a jar of zap, apple jam. School is tiny jar of rainbow hot sauce, blueberries, bananas, while sparkles were preheating in the oven. After everything was confirmed to school specifications, the cake was thrown in. Like you are, school and noise, the war is on. The kitchen had uh, turned to while they were preparing the cake. A glimmering bowl stained from rain or sauce, and the zap up and jam mixed with mass of kid, and these are bananas and blueberries with splashes of the paste painting room, all of which sparkler was clean up while Diggy stood wrap attention to the oven. For five minutes, when the heat finally started brown, though after activating the chaos, mass of ritual design. I made up the cake base. A well ruins etched into it. I glowed a mint green flame before a mass of inky black tentacles shot out. Distant stars within them like underneath their skin. Skulu Dinky screamed as I made a tactical retreat. Brian Spockler was bending, beating the tentacles back into the oven. Smiting wounds accidentally, which caused the elder space creature to flow back into its extra planet prison. The spell irritated it. I stopped with tacos and muffins into the room. Devon's writing screamed crystal in a thousand tongues. The storm smudged further designed and ruined family to cause the story to transform into rainbow lapable trees, which gave vines and shrubbery throughout the kitchen. Was fought by a sparkler, pushing tree back in the oven. Altering wounds, alas, time infusing the cane, formed fruit into the cake. Was died down, towards from beyond, Petri successfully sent back to where they belong. The after time went off, without any further incidents. So that while loop, success! Success? We nearly died. That's not possible. Nothing about that is possible, what is that? Sparkler screamed, adrenaline catching up to her now, to the past. Oh, please. That was nothing. I mean, but that's something this one eldest god, or oh, she'd never be whenever she turns on the oven. I wasn't scared. School said last parting and proceeding with never shifting the falling. Then what was the scream about? That was a primal yell. I don't want any hiding. We were doing tactical retreats and giving you more support. You know since you're doing such a good job and all. School replied. But at least nothing um at least nothing almost died this time, so that's a success. But I thought you said you were taught, you were taught to cook. The pang started giving way to cut Curtis' tone. Yeah, and Rainbow always says it's, it's that's because no kitchen can withstand her awesomeness. And more instructions kitchen to some things, we'll cook the better you did. Sable's so good she can turn water into ash. As well almost burn down the house every time she tried to cook breakfast. Sammy, she must be a good cook. Okay, let's see what we have. This has almost killed us. We might as well see if it's worth it. Sparkle said just as raindrops walked in the kitchen. Look around and see plants of unknown origin, piles of muffins, tacos, flooding the kitchen, mysterious strains coming in the kitchen. 
Okay. I know. <coughs> okay. I know. If I want to know how you all managed to cook what well, looks like hundreds of tacos and muffins, but how in the hell did you go random plants throughout the kitchen? Sparked the point into the oven, which was glowing with a shifting rainbow light light. We are cooking cake, she said lamely. Raindrops walked over and opened the door. Opened 